Welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon, we're currently on week number 21. We're going to embark, unfortunately, no one we can recruit this week. Most heroes had a lot of negative quirks I'd rather not deal with. The sanitarium, yeah, is overloaded at this point. Now, I wanted to do a mission in the Weald. There is one to recover a shipment of medicines that were abandoned somewhere on the old road. A car driver recently met their end, probably to the, the fungal creatures, or maybe the brigands. The Book of Raids, not the most useful trinket, but still, can get two portraits. Uh, we definitely need the ability of the musketeer or the arbalist, so we can clear marks for the artillery or fungal giants. Forgot the name. The librarian, of course heal can also mark a lot of characters can benefit from marks here the bounty hunter always a staple we will be able to camp but more on that later on let's increase both of these finish him i like the idea of being able to mark enemies and we can probably pull them so the Seraph deal can deal extra damage. She has a lot of bonuses on mark targets, but it consumes the mark. It's a bit different. And beat back we're not going to need. I'm gonna stay away from Forbidden Chant. Too much stress here. The healing, of course. Okay, how about the Seraph? Minus to speed. The bleed resistance, probably not that great. We might want to replace that with the ability to guard an ally. It will mark us, but we can clear it. Yeah, you never know. That one is taken care of. What about the bounty hunter? Or librarian. And 17 health. No, 19 health, 17 dodge. It's not that great, but it's a start. Spent so much money here. So we have four heroes that are ready to embark. Let's see. Trinkets. Some bleeding resistance. Always useful. Accuracy on range attacks. Sure. Minus move resistance. But we need the camper's helmet here. Six. And I probably should offer the survival guide here. I'm not going to give it to the bounty hunter. Simply because he has the ability to mark. And I want the Bounty Hunter to have a higher chance of acting first. Okay, some resistances. Extra dodge. No, these are not good. Minus five dodge. No. Let's sell one of these. Had a duplicate pair of boots. And I don't think I can use anything either. Move resist, blight skill, no, debuff. Disease resist. Extra crit, but no. They're not that interesting. Maybe we can use the boots, in, but I don't think we're going to be moving by force. At least not the musketeer.
Yeah, we also have the area guide. These are gonna be helpful, maybe the bleeding. We're gonna have to gather the medicines, and these take up inventory slots. So, yeah, we're gonna have to worry about that as well. Three, four, eleven torches. Shovels. Four. Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna run out of uh, inventory pretty soon. It is what it is. Always an issue in the game, but I haven't found any solutions. Our land is remote and unneighbored. Every lost resource must be recovered. And we get some increased result from completing the mission. Should have expected that. Lie in wait. Unsprung and thirsting. Spiders. Uh, being surprised here is not a good idea. Can move just once. That was a solid dodge. Poor librarian is webbed. Depending on when we're actually able to act, this might end up being a disaster. 6 to 12. Now let's finish off this one. Back to the pit. Executed with impunity. We keep on dodging, can recover a little bit of stress. Wait, okay, that was the wrong hotkey. Be gone, fiend. Indeed. Can mark the target. Hold on. No, it marks the Seraph. That makes sense. Uh, should I move back? No, I can only move forward. Twenty-four. Inspiration and improvement. We can do this. Unless the enemy dodges. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. And Before we get another ring. Waiting to be spent. No scouting, unfortunately. Brigands. Let me guess, we're gonna bleed. Yes, we are. No bleeding this time. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Could try to stun, could try... Honestly, a basic attack is probably the best idea here. That was the wrong target. Uh, what can I do? Probably heal. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. How about oh no, this is going to horror 
cause horror on these allies. Uh, never mind. Eradicated. Already running into inventory issues. What is this? Nothing. Nice view of the forest ahead. We have to backtrack and then we have to figure out what we're gonna do with this inventory. Might have to toss the bandages. Somewhat early for that. What type of uh, camping skills do we have here? Can heal, remove mortality debuffs. Extra protection, only if you're religious. Clean guns. Stress reduction. A riddle to solve. I'm not sure if we should be doing that. Can get some extra scouting chance. I do like the idea of that. We can reduce stress also. Maybe I should try to camp early. 32, 29, 31. I don't know, no sh nobody should be squinting. Stress reduction, okay. These cause a lot of stress. Okay, that dodging continues. And we're probably stunned too. So with speed of 3 and they all acted, hold on, speed of 2, speed of 5, speed of 6, speed of 2. Another one falls. Does it make sense? We missed. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. It's not enough to kill it. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yep, don't you forget it. Nothing in there. Hey, there's a scouting. Our first obstacle. We're gonna clear it with one of the shuttles. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. Old tray. Oh, we do not have anti venom. We don't have inventory space anyway. Even more scouting. Couple of curios. Should I avoid this entire area? Oh, quest locate. Oh, hold on a moment. So they're going to describe these area, these tiles differently. So we don't have to go, you know, I like that. Okay, medicine number one. So 90, 60, 70, 60. Another scout. You can see another quest location. Maybe we're gonna be done with this quest a lot faster than I thought. And now, the darkness holds dominion. Black as death. Don't worry about the darkness. Bit of gold, we can exchange it for the medicinal herbs. 
Or maybe the torches. It's also empty. You can see a fight just ahead. The bandits, yeah. We didn't keep the bandits. A troubling effigy. No. Can I burn it? No. Surely not the key, the blood. Well, no, not the blood. The holy water? Powerful effect, you say? We got a quirk. It's a positive one. Strange occurrence, right? Most of the interactions are ne well, not, not most. If you know what you're doing, they're not negative. Green ears, blurred vision. The end approaches. Why are we starting off with a critical strike? They all get a turn. Well, they're not that fast. I'm not sure why. We never had a chance to clear the stun. So let's go after... Yeah, I don't think it matters at this point. The damage is done. Biting. They dodged. Well, they do have high dodge. As long as they're not casting webs. That is something. our bounty hunter is carrying this entire mission. Yeah, bite all you want. Let's take care of that too. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Clearly in view. So bandages I can't really use right now. We need some room. I have an idea. We can camp here and we can uh, re-up two inventory slots. Sure. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. Librarian buried in her books. I don't think we're gonna present a riddle to be solved. These ones, three points. 15 Accuracy and crit Can cure bleed, but yeah Seraph is gonna be Preventing the un the nighttime ambush Is there a point to scouting ahead? I want to say no, but you know what? Not much else we can do here. 
The stress is essentially useless. The heal is useless. The crit. Clean musket. Didn't realize the Seraph was as bloodthirsty. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. So, satchel number two, or other the medicines. The satchel was simply the container. Oh, we do not have... Oh, another. We don't have another bottle of holy water. If, oh, we do. Never mind. Who do we want to get an extra quirk? Yep, the icon is the yellow quirk. The red one is for the negative. How about the musketeer? Gifted. Well, it's... Of, qu of questionable importance. Let's put it like that. Match is struck. A blazing star is born. We're probably looting the place. So let's pull the cut. No, the f hmm. Can immediately destroy him. Annihilate. Okay, that was good. We can reduce stress. We can mark... How about we mark the blood letter? I'm ready for a powerful shot. Yes. Size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Fine shot indeed. We even dodging. We're doing great. It's an accuracy, not a dodge bonus. So 3 points, 15 points, 15 points. That's a room battle. Hold on. Did I miss a quest location? No. Must be close to the final room. Wouldn't it be horrible if we had to backtrack? I'd rather not think about that. Light. So how hard are you going to hit? 13 to 25. Obliterated. Yep. Decimated. Cleaning the musket is by paying off probably. Of skill and purpose. One point. Didn't realize it was so low. We're gonna ignore the tree, of course. So this is a room battle. The light, the promise of safety. Yeah, we're ready. We're gonna dive in there. Haven't seen any fungal. Yeah, they're the fungal scratchers.
And I should probably use the stress recovery because I don't want to move the musketeer forward. This is a really awkward position. See, dodged it. That's a good thing. Ready for a powerful shot. Let's do it. Destroyed. Good. I feel that saying that RNG is in our favor is probably an understatement. In radiance, may we find victory. Let's mark. Uh, who can we mark? Probably the scratchers. Okay, steady. Twelve points. I'm gonna need some healing here. To perform beyond one's limits. And sure. A rusted harp. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Manus Scout, there is a quest location. I do not see. Uh, we can equip. Uh, yeah, let's equip the harpoon. The minus five dodge will probably not make a difference. Hey, maybe we can get a bonus if we run into the larger brigand. The blood letter. What was his name? The cut. No, the cutthroat. It was the blood letter, probably. I think the cutthroat was the one that was dual wielding. Uh, what is going on here? A map of the area. Hey, that's why I kept those shovels. Okay. And we have a key. Valuable belongings inside. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. Minus two speed. We could have used medicinal herbs to clear that. Didn't realize it. No enemy. Okay, that makes our job even easier. Let's get out of here. These medicines will prevent the outbreak of epidemic at our struggling hamlet. Not a lot of gold, decent amount of heirlooms. The Book of Rage, of course. Portraits, well, two portraits. And a decent amount of resolve, too. Level 2, 8 out of 14. The others... I think they only need, what... A long mission in their resolve level 3. Natural. Very solid here. Ruins Tactician. Kofob. And Meticulous Striker. Probably the first uh, real quirk we have on the Musketeer here. of rare and exotic injuries makes this place perfect for the study of suffering sure and we can take advantage of the esp uh, the experts here 
zoophobia. They're completely free. So that might be an issue here. I do like the idea of um, dealing with Ashen. And we can also reinforce some of those. Mankind Hater is probably a very solid pick. Unholy... Honestly, it's not bad. Guild member. The known cheat is not something I'm worried about. Marked by the flock. Uh, God fearing. I like the idea of how to trot here. Especially with the grand entrances. Would hate to see that go. Could increase the dodge. Stress eater. Okay, desecrator. Spiritual. A spiritual Vestal. I mean, sure. The kleptomaniac jester. She needs some help too. On guard, which is honestly not that great. Nervous Bleeder. Hippocratic. I mean, sure. Let's take care of this one. I don't think I'm gonna lock any of those. Saved quite a bit of money. Nobody is diseased. I don't think anybody will need stress relief. Can sort by stress. 15 points. That's fine. An agility talon. Blight charm, a dusty habit, only for the keeper. Not a bad pick. Has uh, zero negative, uh, negative effects. Longevity eye patch. Minus speed is somewhat rough though. The man at arms is already slow. Oh, but I think that's it. Can I invest any. maybe some deeds? Weapon smithing. or maybe armor smithing. I feel damage is a lot more important. Can give you some extra speed too. But then again, we might need to increase the size of the barracks. I'm not gonna upgrade anything then. Insipid, deadly. Ye will be laughing still at the end. Reduced blight up mount, Warren's phobe. Another choir hunter, we already have two. And Lila Viper. Already have two Vipers. I think we're good here. As for the Salamander. Quiet Mind. Reduce Stress. These are probably equal. I'm gonna keep Harriet. And that's probably it for this week. Uh, let's remove these heroes. Let's remove the trinket so that we're ne we're not forgetting anything. Probably sell one of those. Hey, a lot of gold too. And of course the harpoon. The Book of raids. We doubt we're gonna be using that. I'm not going to sell it, though, unless we're really desperate for money. That's it for this week, though. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next part.
we have a shorter mission and we can also go after the bosses. We're gonna figure it out. <laughs>